Hello, welcome back everybody to the Seas of Time session 2.3, season 2. I'm glad to have you here for another wonderful time here and uh, with this lovely cast of people. And uh, so let's get right back into it, shall we? Uh, our party has finally made it to Laka's shell, hoping to find uh, little uh, resources, some allies, and possibly an entry into the famous tournament that's being held there, possibly, potentially. And uh, one of their first priorities was to uh, help the College of Zira, Kimmy's uh, college school, uh, to help recruit none other than her famous bard father, Alani Seasinger. Uh, they led their way towards the tournament, found out that he was hiding out in a Tyrian spas, and went directly there. Um... Uh, a tense conversation occurred between the two before Alani disappeared, uh, telling them to stay clear of the tournament. Well, this did not deter our heroes in the slightest. And um, with that, they spoke with a Tyrion, who gave them a quest to earn an admittance into the tournament as uh, his benefactor, or as their benefactor. Uh, they would go into Snake's Vice, uh, into the pits specifically, to find an assassin lord and bring their head, or they talked him down to bringing a ring or some kind of jewelry. Uh, they took this information and intel and decided to think about it and uh, find a place to rest. And uh, they found it in a uh, local tavern in Quartz Bluff, a high nobility district of uh, rich upper middle class that, uh, where they reside there. Lots of Federation control. And uh, Kimmy offered to uh, put on a show to pay for their admittance into um, the tavern, which uh, was going successfully. And so our uh, artificial Sebastian spotted uh, some very uh, peculiar individuals sneaking up to the uh, stage. And uh, just before you know it, these assassins made themselves known and they flung themselves at our, um, our party, and more particularly our bard, intending to capture her for whatever reasons. A fight ensued, and while they were looking to win this fight, uh, with the final strike, Anaru has struck not only the assassin, but something that he was clutching in his hand, a vial, a black ichor, which the party has seen before. And this black ichor began to manifest itself, covering the body of the assassin wholly. And, um, and before Anaru's eyes, he saw a uh, just all-encompassing all black Icarus organism encompasses assassin's body and take him over uh, an abomin abomination to see. And now, let's get into it, shall we? So, one. we begin. Um, Inara, you have just struck this creature or this assassin. You have seen them fell, but just before um, your eyes, you see this um, this echo just kind of encompass uh, this assassin and turn into this strange abomination that is just like tendrils abound, uh, a gaping maul of just abyss before you. It is a, a, a sight to behold, and it's reaching right for you as it rolls its initiative. So... Do we all have to re-roll initiative because the encounter is gone? Yeah. So anyway, guys, uh, a little update. I updated the Foundry, which uh, messed up uh, some of my features, like a ding-dong dingus. But regardless, uh, I still have these tokens, so we'll work with it. So yes, we will have to re-roll initiative. I can't. Wow. Oh. There you go. Okay, okay. Michael, haven't you ever modded Fallout before? You should know you never update anything because it'll break everything. <laughs> yeah, I should have thought that. <laughs> 19. Never... <laughs> Beautiful. 17. And now, last but not 
last but not least, the creature will roll. He got an 18. So, <laughs> let us begin, shall we? And it's this guy here. No, it's this thing right here. And yeah, maybe I'll show uh, the artwork for you. Get you a good idea what this thing looks like. Can everybody see that? Nope. No? I mean, I just zoomed in all the way. There you oh, go. Oh. Ooh. So yeah, you just see all these black Icarus oozes just wrapping around the deceased form of this assassin. And you can still see features of the uh, what was that human before still uh, wrapped around this Icarus ooze as I'm, it comes forward. I'm going you. to try to take a bite of that black Icarus because Ooh. it's the best flavor of Icarus. It is. It is. It is. Well, Iwanka is now summoned. You must fight him. <laughs> Okay, let me get this. Uh... I'm going to punch him in the schnozberry. <laughs> All right. Let us begin. Oh, room. It's so it, it's a little bit away from me right now? No, it's like right where that body was. So like right here. Okay, okay. Um, I am going to, uh, hold one hand to the, to the sky and throw it forward. And I'm going to hit him with Luna Anything Blast. There we go. Uh, 15. That hits. All right. <laughs> four damage. With some force damage, you do see that it, the whole form of it just kind of ruptures, you know, uh, g gives off these kind of waves, shuddering and pain. Uh, oh, you know what? It's It should be 1d10 plus my charisma modifier, right? Uh, on hit, the target takes 1d10 force damage. Okay, so there's no... Already, yeah, it's kind of like Heldridge Blast, but Lunar Blast. Okay, that all you want to do? Um, no, I am going to um move backwards, so I'll take that attack of opportunity. Okay. So yeah, oh, it's a little shadowy, up. wispy tendril hands kind of tries to wrap around your arm and pull you in. For a lovely hug. Uh, I can't move. The game's paused. <laughs> Michael, your power has gone unmatched for too long. So I'm going to try to move to there. All right. All right. All right. Yeah, well, maybe I shouldn't show that. Whoop. One more time. Okay. 18. Does not hit. <gasps> oh. So yeah, it tries to whip and try to uh, ensnare your arm, but you block it off, parrying it before it can do the, the deed of harm. Um, and I am going to have my echo move right to there. Good, good. All right. All right, that's in your turn. The strange creature yeah. will begin. Miyoko, you're up next. Uh, the creature begins to just kind of move, bend, uh, you know, snappings of bones, the twisting of the neck as it kind of twists in kind of an exorcist kind of style, spewing this kind of like green and black vial from its mouth and all this kind of shadowy wisp. As from the center of it, you could see like this kind of strange um, greenish aura begin to emit from it. Ooh. Yeah, and um, Naru and Lilipa, since you are you are in the aura, I'm gonna need you to do con saving throws for me. As you feel sick to your stomach. Uh, 
Yuki Aura. <laughs> 21. Woo! 23. Man, the fighters of the group succeeding. This is just ridiculous. Con saving thrones. Come on. Uh, but yeah, you could feel like your stomach churn, but not as much as the other night when you were drinking very heavily. So this is nothing new to you. Uh, however, uh, let me roll for my shadow also. I, I think if you're no, your shadow doesn't need to. It's okay. Your shadow okay. doesn't have organs. Got it. <laughs> he puts away his bagpipes. Actually, Michael, if you read my backstory, he has a spleen. <laughs> <laughs> so this thing's just gonna kind of uh, make its way towards Lilipa just a, a gross sight before you uh, your shadow can get a hit in it sure is gonna get a hit in uh, but, 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 me. let's do it where's my thing uh, 21 Okay, okay. That hits. Go for it. 12 damage. Okay, you feel like um, it kind of like a ricochets off it, not really piercing through, and some of the, the f impact is repelled. Okay. Uh... <laughs> Excuse me. Um, I do want to remind you that I am in my ebb and flow, in my flow form. Mm -hmm. okay, okay. And my weapon is considered magical right now. Uh, yeah. Okay, okay, so that does count. You're good. Uh, actually, wait. I did that math wrong. I added health. <laughs> it heals him! Ah! Put away your magic! Don't hit it! <laughs> Just run! Uh, but okay, so... it'll die. <laughs> so you see it kind of like, uh, as it gets closer to you, it's like form just kind of contorts into itself. And you can see like it's just holding itself, like it's about to just spring out. Uh, but it hasn't done anything yet. And it's going to skip its turn. Miyoko. God. Uh, There's you're up next. Looking back and forth, just like, uh, uh, I am going to hit this guy with a booming blade. Uh, if I can open this RPG. There we are. Okay. Yeah, there we go. All right, let's see if I actually hit this time. Remember, it's cool. Plus two. Uh, Plus two. Uh, that's right. After I have to roll my weapon, it doesn't roll automatically with the spell. But what's the point of the spell? <laughs> All of the requirements is that this, this melee weapon's got to be at least a silver. Okay, can't be no copper blade, okay? Yeah. <laughs> no cheap Jeez. blades. Nope. It's oh. 11. Yeah, you just hit it. And it just echoes off their armor. It's a nice sound, but no dice. I don't have metal armor in the east. <laughs> this is really annoying. <laughs> all right, all right. Um, I'll just hit him again with the sword. <laughs> Go for it. Uh, 16. Oh, nope, no dice. Just <laughs> blocks it, parries it. He, lo he looks past you and sees that thing just, like, making its way over. He's like, what the? <laughs> yeah, I saw it. <laughs> I'm trying not to look at it. <laughs> That'll be my turn. Okay, okay. Maris. And then give me your after Maris. Uh, is the guy, is he alive or is he dead? I can't remember. I, he's prone, but you see he's trying to uh, scamper out. Like he's definitely not in the mood to fight. Uh, when they're prone, they get I get advantage, right? Sure. Um, I'll look down at him. Now, do you plan on leaving, or are you going to stay and fight? I'm getting out of here! You clearly have the advantage! I'm just going to try to knock him unconscious. Yep. Go for it. So that's advantage, right? Is that yep. correct? Okay. Mm -hmm. 19? 
That hits. Oh yeah, you could dunk him in the head. He just <laughs> sprawled out, knocked out. Cool. Um, just so you all know, there's an unconscious man over here that we can use for questioning. Uh, then I'm gonna hop down, come to a little upper, and I'm gonna attack again. If I get two attacks, which I think, oh, uh, not that one, not that one. Ignore I'm that. Forgive you. Oh, you've given away your ultimate move. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Nine, that misses. Uh, I will spend a key point to fear your blows. Okay, I'm go for it. Eighteen. That hits. It hits. All right. Mm -hmm. uh, six damage. And I'm going to use a key point to stunning strike. Which now I need to see if that roll if that hits, they have to roll. Oh yeah, hey, you entered that aura. I'm gonna need you to do a con saving throw for me. On on entry? Yeah, on entry. Okay. Can we not do party overviews anymore? No, you can. Well, it's still up there. Party resource. Oh nope. Oh, I'm sorry. You're just gonna have to trust your party members. Oh, okay. A ten? Oh no! Roll a two, one d two for me. Uh oh, you're either dead or you're not. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Welcome to the new season time, season two. Two. You may deduct two from your constitution. Uh oh. As you feel your intestines just coiling back, and it is, it hurts like hell. Um, Can we tell how big this aura is? Yeah. It's getting out there about 30 feet. Okay, that's fair. Uh, that's, that's all by me. Uh, anyways, um, Stunning Strike. Where is that at? In my inventory. One second. I apologize. Don't apologize to put him in the ground. Put him in the ground. To the pit. Take him to grave. <laughs> uh, can you do a con saving throw, please? What? You can't do that. <laughs> What's it gotta be? It is a 13, DC 13. He got exactly a 13. All right, second attack. Go, go. Oh, my. It's like you're punching in a dream. You're just trying to punch this person. You really hate in your dreams. Every time you go into that goop and then I icker. No dice. Um, okay. Uh, with my knowledge of like medicine, do I feel like this is like something I could potentially heal myself of, or does it something? You know what I mean? Like I'm just trying to like, will Maris know this feeling? Does he think this feeling reminds him of something else he's never felt before? You know? Um, that you can sense? do a medicine check. Yeah, you can try it. Okay, so you know this was a um, a tactic used in the Battle of Wartum. Uh, Federation would um, drop particular bombs in areas, and it would leave these after effects, uh, which you what the monks would call uh, lasting sicknesses. That would just it, it's a it's an aura that. It's kind of greenish, and it can seep into past your body into your organs and uh, decay them over time. Though you do know that it can be healed with uh, some clerical powers, okay. like uh, with some uh, lesser or greater restorations, mm -hmm. depending on the severity of the of the sickness. Some could say, in another world, it's kind of radioactive. Uh, I'm gonna yell out to the group: "Don't get close to it. Fight from a distance." And uh, I'm going 
use the rest of my movement and he can take attack at me and I'm gonna try to back out out of its range. Okay. It's gonna smack ya. It's mm -hmm. gonna try to. All right, let's see. Twenty-four. Yep. And here's some damage for you. It's gonna do twenty-two psychic damage. Oh, as you try to run, it just whips and kind of gets around your neck. And you can feel your mind just being invaded. Just you're getting all these nightmarish, horrific thoughts just flashing through your mind. And uh, you're getting a lot of nostalgia, well, not nostalgia, but flashbacks to that war, to the Battle of Vortum. All right. Okay. Cool. I end my turn. All right. These guys, this one looks at Miyoko. I'm getting out of here. That thing needs to be killed. And I don't got the firepower. And he moves through the crowd. Like, get out of my way. Your boy. Oh, jeez. And he runs off like a coward. Kimmy, you're up. Followed by a little bit. Would I have seen, like, what happened over here with Wolfa and that black the guy. <laughs> uh, yeah, I think like you guys probably would have heard Maris calling out to you, and also just the thing is not very quiet. You know, oh, just, I just oh, mean like, can I see it from where I am? Uh, yeah, definitely. I think I would like run over to Sebastian and be like, oh, "Excuse me, what is that?" <laughs> Does it look humanoid at all? Still, yeah, it's got features of a human, but it's like most of it's just kind of got this kind of goopy, like ooze around it. Kind of also some wispy shadows. But at the head of it, you do see a head of that person that was once an assassin. Are you is Kimmy trying to run past Sebastian? I think she's like running up to you, like confused and. Kind of like she's a little hesitant, but she's about to like go in there. It, if she tries to like make it like past here, he's gonna like take one hand off the uh, the rifle and like like put it out to stop her and say, um, "I I I don't know it. It was a guy." And then and Mary said, don't go near it. And he's not looking. Like, I, don't, I don't know if I can tell if, if Maris looks okay or not. But he's I'm going for what Maris said, like, don't go near it. Okay, and then she's going to try to do Mantle of Inspiration. Um, Everything's broken. All my favorites are gone, Michael. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry. Um, she's going to do Mantle of Inspiration on Lilipa, Maris, and can she see Anaru from where she is? Uh, yeah, I would say so. And Anaru and I guess the, the bird... The oh, bird. Wow. I feel so appreciated. <laughs> the bird. No, not not that bird. The little one. <laughs> oh, oh I didn't get it. Okay. <laughs> Even better. And uh, Sebastian, I guess. I I don't know. I I mainly wanted Anaru, uh, little pun, Maris. <laughs> so. <laughs> so they get eight. Uh, Temporary hit points, and they can move up to their movement speed. <laughs> Don't be bye bye. <laughs> just uh, like, just like you see, Lilipa just holding like her arm over her nose, like this, like oh, I'm just this, that thing is disease. <laughs> <laughs> That was my bonus action, <laughs> technically. Uh, I can move one more. I'm gonna just go a bunk. <laughs> mm -hmm. <laughs> all right, all right, all right. Um,
Is that everybody? Yeah, but I still have an started... action. I, I just don't know what to do. <laughs> <laughs> um, I guess I'll try to do shatter again. I I'm a one trick pony, guys. <laughs> <laughs> Okay. All right. So, con saving throw. Now that's rude. <laughs> All right. It got an eleven. So. Roll that dice. Twenty. Twenty. Wow. That's nice really roll. good. Nice. One trick pony. Getting the Dylan done. I can only do two <laughs> things: it's the mantle of inspiration, the shatter. There's nothing else. Nothing else in the spell book. Mm -hmm. You're my favorite utility belt. It's okay. <laughs> <laughs> and that's my turn. <laughs> all right, all right. You can see like the the thunderous, violent aura of your shatter uh, hit this creature. But uh, as it just kind of violently shakes apart, you can almost see like the the, the cut up pieces of what was once that assassin just kind of like mid air, and then it kind of snaps back into place. Um, clearly not dead. Oh, also RP thing. Like when Lilitha comes over, I'd be like, "Are you okay?" <laughs> she she looks fine, just like a little like <laughs> like he's like. Mm. I don't think I have smelled anything worse. <laughs> we should all probably run. I don't want to fight that. Uh, <laughs> I agree, but then where will we stay the night? <laughs> Anywhere but here. <laughs> <laughs> well, rip this in, I guess. <laughs> <laughs> Damn it. <laughs> all right, little the place now. <laughs> <laughs> To the bar. <laughs> well, play you're up, and Sebastian, you're next. Um, is this a wall right here? Uh mm huh. -hmm. Okay. Uh. Oh. Are these these archers are still alive? Uh, yeah, but they're. Just terrified. They're just looking off in the direction of this creature and it's about to uh, bounce from what you can see. Okay. Uh, I'm going to have Lilipa uh, doink. Um, I thought she could like right click and make the. That was roll 20. I remember now. Yeah, I can do that. <laughs> um, have Wolfa go around this wall and like uh, jump on this table <laughs> and uh, she's going to I don't get to use these that often so let's get some javelins out <laughs> and at least try to <laughs> slow it down <laughs> whatever this thing is. <laughs> Yeah, go for it. So, let's see if the multi attack still works. <laughs> nope. <laughs> <laughs> okay, old fashioned way. Got it. Javelin says they consume ammunition, but no resources specified. Okay. They built the javelin wrong. <laughs> Yay. Deep out found you. <laughs> I don't okay. know what resource it wants me to specify. <laughs> Pro probably in the inventory. It just needs to be like, uses the inventory of javelins. 
or we just make it so it doesn't do that. Edit item, details, ammunition, none. Boop, boop, try that now. There we go. Ba boom. So a twenty-seven and a twenty-three. Oh yeah, that hits. Oh, the yeah. one of those was a crit. Oh, nice. <laughs> wow. It didn't turn green though. <laughs> Weird. But it lit on fire. That, that's the only indication. <laughs> All right, so so uh, eight. So technically, uh. 10 raging still. <laughs> okay. And so 2024. Okay. Uh, with the last javelin, you see it pierce through the still human head and it just it just kind of coils down and slumps into an oozy mess on the ground and starts to kind of sizzle up. Uh, clearly deceased. Oh. <laughs> hey, <you> did it. <laughs> like a balloon. <laughs> you do see the aura is still there. And as it dies and kind of flattens out into a news, you can see more of it just steam up and more of that uh, acidic fog is starting to uh, go outwards. <laughs> She would like look over at Anaru, like just still covering, like kind of like her her nose, and she's just like, that, "That wind thing you do would be <coughs> really useful <laughs> <laughs> right about now." <laughs> Let's out a nervous squeak from his. <laughs> I was like, "What was that noise?" <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh, that will. You, you that meant be... you meant the other thing. I, I do not know. <laughs> but uh that will be ending my turn uh, uh, okay and uh sebastian you want to do anything i mean just all the other jabronis are not as hostile as before right Yes, you do see one of them still uh, around. About to just get up and run the second they get. Hey, Dad, I would not be mad at you if you just popped a shot up. But which one shot Kimmy? <laughs> <laughs> just like point. <laughs> which one shot you? <laughs> <laughs> Tell me right now. <laughs> Got my boomstick. <laughs> is this one? Is this one trying to flee? Definitely. It, it, does she see me? I think like they turn and see you holding that laser gun, and they're just giving you the most wide-eyed, terrified look you've ever seen. Like they're I'm, going, I'm, I'm just gonna keep it locked on her. And then just shake my head. <laughs> and just be like, no. You, you stay right there. Okay. Um, do an intimidation with an advantage. Oh boy. Am I good at that? <laughs> uh -huh. Intimidation. With advantage. Hey. Natural 20. Apparently so. Yeah, oh, they, they fall on their butt. <laughs> they do, fall over uh, a table. Do they, do they let out a different type of Icarus smell? Oh, yeah. Uh, oh, yeah. Yep. Can, they're, they're Another pants. gust of wind. <laughs> <laughs> I don't want the hell This place, I do not want to stay in here. There's something. It has a very low, low sanitation rating. It's a gas leak or something. And finally, with the no, just comes whipping in here with that gust of wind. Uh, you can see all that kind of corrosive aura just kind of get pushed uh, further back into the tavern. Yeah, and, I'm, I'm uh, pushing it into that back corner. Hopefully, there's a window there. If not, I'm going to tell uh, the owner to maybe quarantine that section. Yep. You do hear some people going, oh, 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 oh. I was going to say, hopefully, hopefully, there's, hopefully there's no people back there. 
there. <laughs> but you really do hear people go. <laughs> they all start coughing violently as that aura is pushed. Uh, anyway, that does in combat. And just uh, as it ends, Miyoko, you hear uh, thunderous footsteps. <laughs> And they burst open the door, and you could see uh, an entire crew of Federation soldiers just come pouring in. Oh. Anar is just going to start pointing fingers at the bodies. <laughs> <laughs> I put my sword away immediately. They're like, where are the bodies? Tell us now! I, I point. <laughs> and you see uh, this uh, higher official Federation just kind of moves back and looks at these guys with the tanks. And uh, the fire guns, like, move in! Exterminate the threats! They go, yes, ma'am! They yeah. start moving through. Yeah, boy. yeah, they push you aside. They're like, move aside! Move aside! Uh, I make my clone disappear. My echo. <laughs> okay, okay. And they, they come in, and they just start... Uh, at the air, at the bottom of the ground, getting any kind of piece of this creature just burnt to an ash as as one of them passes by I let them know that i pushed uh that cloud of uh noxious fumes or whatever it was into the back of the uh bathhouse mm-hmm. or the, they, the inn they're can they, I, nod. they go thanks to the and they move can, out can i sling my rifle and then saddle upside this one here and pull out a dagger and put it like to her back, but stand close enough to, and like tell her it's okay. They they're they're not gonna hurt us anymore. I, they they look at you and they go, "What whatever you say, boss. I ain't saying nothing." I'm gonna message them in their head. We're we're gonna have some uh, some words because. Whatever that was. Uh... There's there's also an unconscious one at the top of the stage. Uh, the high official. Um, we could see to be like a spellcaster because they're moving their hands. You can see like a a uh, a mage hand pop up and uh, give commands around little formation signals, and she says, "You too." Up there, check that person. Get them in cuffs. And they run out. And uh, they move past Sebastian. Uh, One of them does stop uh, at Sebastian and sees uh, the one on the ground and says, um, did you pick them up or did you let them sit? This one? Yeah, the one you have. Oh, no, if, if she was on the ground, I would help her up, like with one arm, but I'm having a knife to her back. To make sure she does not try to like run or anything. Okay, okay. But so I'm, they... I'm trying to I'm trying to talk to her out loud to everybody else, like she's part of our party. Okay, okay. Um, so these two don't pay any mind, but they do move past uh, little pod. They're like, move aside, child. And they she just hops off the table, like, okay. <laughs> Runs back hear... over to Kimmy. <laughs> <laughs> you can hear the commotion. Like, Put your hands up now. You'll never take me alive! And then, a little bit laughter, you hear shots getting fired, windows cracking, furniture getting turned over. Uh, you do hear in this little corner area, this flamethrower unit moves in. Just all that fire is getting shot out. And uh, these two just jump on the stage and start clearing out that area, stomping out all the lovely stage designs. And lighten it up. And they're going to like the bar stool and just kind of whacking all the bottles down, inspecting everything. And um, this uh, kind of caster high official looks around and um, turns to the party and says, State your business status now. Give me your birth certificate. <laughs> uh, I, I, I'm, uh, I was doing a performance here, and these are my friends. Maris, what's up? 
Uh, can you remind me uh, what the Archmage's name from the uh, Federation that we know? Uh, Etlin. Etlin, okay. I'll wait until Kimmy's done. I'm done. Um, we listened to by Archmage Etlin. Uh, my name is Maris. Um, you might have heard of me coming. Because... I've heard reports of you. Tanner the Cane Monk. Are these any gestures towards your party? Part of your crew? Correct, they are. Any survivors in here that we need to spare? Um all those you see before me are just all the all of us. Um but the others are Interesting parties that we would love to speak to. That man that is unconscious over there would be great to have a word. But I do have a Do you happen to have a healer nearby? And I'm like clutching my side. I, I need some, uh, some healing done. Of course, we have um, Federation clerics. Though you are not enlisted, it will cost you. Depending on the severity. If I just Were need... you touched by that thing? Indeed, that that is uh, not touched, um, but the aura. I admit it, I, I inhaled it, and it is affecting me. Not severely, but I'm afraid it could get worse. And um, she looks at all you. None of you are wearing Federation-approved gear, and you're fighting one of these things. You must be green to this phenomenon. I'm a Anar performer. Just looks so. his skin tone color. <laughs> yes, well, <laughs> some of us are green. I would advise you to acquire such gear before interacting with any sorts of these creatures again. Um, duly noted. About that healer, um, how much are we talk? This is. Of importance, and I have some um, things I need to do for the Archmage, and this could be impeding. I'm sure he would love me to be patched up as soon as possible. Um, she arches an eyebrow, looks back. The usual rate for such a cure is around 200 gold. Um. We do not do favors for mercenaries, even if you do know the Archmage. The Archmage understands the, uh, the bureaucracy involved in giving handouts to just uh, anyone. It's the handouts when he has sent me to do some very important things, and if I can't do them, I don't think that's a handout. I believe he would just be helping me complete my task. I'm certain you can acquire the funds within... Good amount of time. I'll see if I can reach out to the Archmage and see what they can do. And what of our payment? You did clear out that creature on your own. Yes, and, and saved the lives of several patrons in this fine establishment within your walls. I, I feel that your crew should have been here protecting these people and not us. I I feel like we did your job for you. Perhaps Look. we could uh, waive this healing fee one time, of course. I'm, I'm sure there are things that we can buy while we're here to make up for that. But we did do your job, and, and he was hurt in, in duty. Look over at these guys, and I just go, I don't know them. I'm just uh, <laughs> by myself. You guys did a great job. <laughs> uh, they kind of just stone faced you. You can't really see their expressions through their mask. Uh, one of them looks over to the uh, the mage, and the mage just kind of strokes her chin and looks at the Anaru. You Tethians are quite blunt, but you are correct. You have served us. Fine. First, curement is free, though 
if you happen to go into Snake's Vice and encounter more of these creatures on your own, you will still have to pay. We have to invest in all the materials required to cure you of this. If we keep curing you for free, well, we're going to run out of materials. You must understand. This is not oh. because we don't care for you. It's because we I, need to have things running. I definitely understand the, uh, the cost of doing such services for your people, but uh, I'm sure we will run into more trouble and we will be back with coin to pay in the future. She nods and um, she looks back at Maris. Apologies. Do not mean to insult you or your party. You have done us a great service and we th thank you. I just nod. And uh, she looks back at the... Oh, sorry, go ahead. I was going to ask her... Uh, <clears throat> you mentioned uh, being more outfitted with uh, equipment. Is that readily available for consumer purchase? We can give a discount to Federation mercenaries. Uh, the equipment is, runs about 15 gold a piece. Is there a specific place we should go pick this up, or is it just sold anywhere in town? You can go to the, the Federation outpost. Um, you'll find it at the gates of the Quartz Bluff. Though you can find it in most Federation bases around Lakashaw. You can even go to um, the Duke's Manor, where we occupy it, and supplies there. Snake's Vice, though, I'm sure you'll find most of that gear, though, as we are still trying to take back the district. Is this something new that's been afflicting people, or...? It has been an ongoing issue, unfortunately. Ever since the... Well... The war. The siege. The Federation officials, the higher-ups, had made some uncalculated, well, I would say even poorly calculated decisions in trying to repel the invaders, and uh, she cuts a look to Anaru. I was just curious if this is something that just came up or this is something that has been it, it looks to be synthesized or something along those natures well we do know insurgent groups like the shell shockers here are known to use such products in their terrorist activities. So we assume that they have extracted um, materials left behind in the wall and possibly synthesized it with uh, devious designs. That's my assumption, anyway. I don't patrol Snake's Vice enough to tell you. What are those uh, creatures called that they become when they take this liquid? Uh, the general term is demons, creatures, monsters. Though the pub, the public have been calling them Makali. Oh. A tale from the days of Zinus. But I would advise you from using that term as it gives credence to 
the rabble's perception, which is never a good thing. Well, I think we've uh, taken up enough of your precious time. Uh, we'll just be getting out of here. Let's go. We should have the tavern keeper in here shortly. And uh, before I leave, though, and uh, she gets out a scroll, and she looks over to Maris and walks over. Um, according to Federation policy, that even Archmage Edlin adheres to, says that after this moment, you will not mention this incident to anyone outside of Federation authority. Punishable mm. by death. Because uh, we will do the the necessary precautions to set everything up as it were prior to the attack. And you are going to act like everything is fine. We don't want to cause a panic against the commoners. That's the show. They'd be at each other's throats trying to figure out what's going on. You have my word. Could I have you sign? No, no it's regular pin. Trust me. Inside, inside check. Um, <laughs> we just need your word on this. It's protocol. Um. You can inside if you want. I know. Uh, no, nah, that's. <laughs> I'm going to look at uh, Miyoko and I'm going to walk over. Give me one second. And I'm going to have Miyoko. I'm like, you know magic. Are you able to detect anything magical about that pen? <laughs> Miyoko, who is not trained in Arcana, has no proficiency in Arcana, goes, I don't fucking know. I don't know anything about magic. <laughs> All right. Uh, Maris will walk back over to her. <laughs> You should That's Sebastian <laughs> now. <laughs> right? He's the yeah, I know that man only knows about guns. <laughs> Lion. Um, I, do, do you want to ask him? I guess you are right next to me. Uh, I'll, I won't even ask. I'll just look at you. I'm gonna. I'm gonna look at you and be like I, I don't know anything about magic. Michael, can I do an Arcana deck though? <laughs> <laughs> Love it. From what you can tell, this is a I very a very simple pen. It's just I mean, it's just got a quill and ink. It, de it definitely does not look like the one that uh, Etelin used for Maris to sign. I mean, it looks like it's just a pen. All right, um, I'll take it. I just want to make the funny haha because I don't cast spells, but yeah. he he is trained in Arcana. <laughs> Fair enough. I trust your word, and then I just sign. Okay. You know. And you feel nothing at all, because it's right with me. Your soul leaves your yeah. mind. <laughs> uh, but um, she looks at you, and she nods. She says, thank you for following Federation protocol. It will benefit you in the long run. Trust me. And she rolls up the scroll, puts it in a little uh, holster, and uh, walks off. Says, bring them back in. Whatever you were doing prior, I would advise you to get back into position. She walks back. And you see the, the fire crew shortly. They kind of get all the dead bodies up. Or what's left of them anyway. Takes them off. Federation crew. Disappear. And, um, what coming through the front door you do see are the uh, the crowded people that were trying to uh enjoy themselves prior and even the tavern owner themselves and they look like they're they got some zombie looking eyes as they're moving forward and uh, they got men in black <laughs> and you see these federation soldiers just kind of leading them forward just kind of prodding them get moving and uh eventually we get to uh where the um the stage was at and 
And as the and they're all kind of set up as they were, the guards, the Federation guards, look at you, at the party, and kind of nod, and they move back. And uh, eventually, you hear uh, or you look over to the crowd, and you can hear them just all silently looking at the stage, and then, yeah, woo, well, yeah. And then they're all just kind of like, wait, where did she go? They told us to get back into position. Wow, what a great sh She just disappeared like that. Wow. And you see the, the tavern owner's just like, and then starts pouring drinks out and handing it out to people. And like, And she looks over, it's like, I I guess she's done. Thanks for staying, everyone. Have a wonderful night. Kimmy's just like on sitting on the ground, like she has a big headache and she's just not feeling too good. So they they look over and they see Kimmy on the ground. They're like, "Wow! Oh, there she was! Everyone, come over here!" And they just start all crowding oh, over you. That was a wonderful show. Thank you. All right, back it up, back it up. Give us some air. She's always exhausted after these events. Oh, thank you. <laughs> Thanks. Uh. <laughs> and uh, a couple of them toss some, some coins over your way, and uh, you gain five gold. Oh, Just from thanks. all the change they're throwing at you. Thank you, guys. You didn't have to do that. We love you! And they all start walking off. And uh, a couple of them look at the Lilipa like, we just loved you on the drums. It was just ecstatic. It just... <laughs> he just gives like a very firm... Thank you. <laughs> Go to Miyoko like, I think you're the, the soul of the, the band. We just loved you. Oh, thank you very much. And remember, if you hear someone talking about her father, always bring her up. We want him to hear about her. <laughs> Very much. Of course, of course. Olani's daughter, she's here. Wow. I just move out. There's a few scragglers still left at the uh the tavern and uh they're all starting to talk to themselves and uh Yeah, so you guys have the floor. Well, put can we do? find a bed cuz I'm just not feeling good. <laughs> Is it those allergies again? Mm -hmm. No, it's the fact that I got hit like a couple of times. <laughs> Maybe being blunt. <laughs> blunt. <laughs> like the weapon got... that hurt me. <laughs> I got shot at. I got shot. <laughs> the arrow's just still there. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we all need to what? heal and, and breathe. I... But I think first we have to uh, interrogate and then probably murder this this nice woman here. So, so Michael, when we said there's a crowd that came in, right? Mm -hmm. I I wanted to walk with the crowd as they're coming in around here with my new friend. The friends looking at you and going whispering, "What the fuck was that? What what were they do? They just I, yeah." I want you to take a seat. Do you want? Do you want a glass of water? And they, they just look so bewildered. Uh, they, they're not even like look, they're looking at the wall. I don't even understand what that was. Federation using dark magic. I knew it. What about your uh, your friend there and uh, doing a little trick? I, I didn't know that Caster was carrying that stuff. Do you know what that stuff is? All I know is it's all rampant in Snake's Vice. I want nothing to do with it. But of course, if there's a Caster that gets assigned to our group, then there's really no choice but to work with them. And they're always dealing with that. Whatever that is. Can I do a sus check? 
You can do a sales check. Meh. Twelve. You can see that they are just so shell shocked uh, that they are just not budging. Like it is not showing anything. It, is this like room open? Yeah, there's like a little entryways. Okay, I want to put eighty five here, and then. Like I'm, I'm assuming they're like I want to like tell them like to take a seat and then, um, hey, I'm, I, I'm, I would like a drink. I'm, I'm gonna go get a drink, and then I'm gonna bring you one back. Okay, so just, just wait here. Okay. They just kind of nod. And then kind of cross their arms and look down at the ground. I'm not going to leave around to the, the group here. And then uh, walk up and uh, tell them. So um, who here knows the, the concept of, of good cop, bad cop? Um, go, put, go, put, go put her head in your mouth. <laughs> is, is this like where one of us shows big dick energy and the other one does not? <laughs> um, no, that's that's a different. That's this. This is it's a, it's a psychological tactic. Um, I tried to befriend her and told her I was going to get her a drink. But I'm not going to go back in there. Somebody else is going to go back in there, but they're not going to be so nice. Um, she's she knows about that stuff, but I don't know. She's she's withholding something. She knows Elvet. She doesn't like that. She doesn't like that they sent a caster with them. But she I also seems very distraught. Then why not send a caster to go upset her? I right, would go Kimmy. back there, but Kimmy is hurt. <laughs> I mean, she's the only caster we have. I what? I think I I know <laughs> the route you want to take. Um, I I do need something before I go with you, though. Maris. Uh, yes. Didn't you find similar vials earlier? Um, I'll look around. Uh, do, does anybody that looks like they're particularly paying attention to us? Uh, no, everybody's just kind of like, um, almost kind of like, they're, they're so focused on what they're doing, drinking beers, just having fun, a little quiet, get-togethers. Um, yeah, nobody knew about it. Okay. Um, yes, indeed, I um, have Quite a bit of those vials. May I have one? Do you have any empty vials by chance? I have one. <laughs> Maris opens up his bag and grabs out a vial and then he stumbles around. You can hear like glass clinking. <laughs> and he grabs out one of his random empty little vials that he has. Um, may I ask, what are you going to do with this? I'm going to be the bad cop. I I have a plan. I, I don't want to inform any of you because I need you all in on the surprise as well. I I do not want to be part of the surprise. And <laughs> She looks down at Kimmy. She's like, I think I really should take Kimmy to bed. She does not look good at all. I I think that will be fine. I Lilipa, if you could make your way back down in case things heat up, uh, that might be useful. We will see. <laughs> and uh, she's gonna help Kimmy up. And uh, like, let's get you to bed. You 
look awful for once. <laughs> yeah, I feel woozy and her legs kind of just like noodle. <laughs> like, ooh. <laughs> just, just like, Lilipa just goes, <laughs> mm -hmm. we will be back. <laughs> And uh, Anaru's going to lean over the bar and ask the uh, the barkeep for uh, two shots. One really dark liquor and one really light colored liquor. Mm -hmm. She says, with a, that kind of show you put on, it's on the house. Fantastic. My greatest appreciation. And she sees Kimmy, obviously not noticing like all the like blood spots and arrows in her like as Lilipa carries her out she's like you did great honey play again tomorrow she just does a slow like thumbs up and then <laughs> wow she spit that wine everywhere these <laughs> these performances really take a lot out of her where can we zoom our tokens off to <laughs> shoot Whee. Yeah, shoot. this place is huge I know right <laughs> here you go uh, so, um, before we begin the interrogation scene, uh, let's take our first break. Ooh. Yay. Mm -hmm. So, we're going to take a quick five-minute break, or 15-minute break, sorry, forget the game. Uh, and we'll come back with part dose of Season of Time, session 2.3, when we come back. Thank you. Okay. Hello, welcome back everybody to part two of session two point three of Season Time. Uh our party has just gotten done killing a very um oozy creature abomination of some sorts that was formed from a particular black vial that was held by uh some would be assassins. Um, as they just got done killing that creature, though, the Federation stepped in and cleared the area out of any remains of it. Um, and on top of that, they, um, struck a deal with the party, uh, telling them to, uh, keep it silent on, uh, talking about this event that has transpired. And, um... The Federation then led the people that were uh, watching the performance uh, just a, an hour ago, all clearly having their memories modified. Uh, and now the party, uh, with this new hostage, they hope to interrogate um, and they hope to pry some information out. But uh, Lilipa and Kimmy went to go uh, retire, or Lilipa went to go put Kimmy down, as Kimmy had suffered some, some grievous injuries when the assassin sprung onto her at the beginning of the encounter. And now as... Oh! Okay. Uh-oh. Uh, <laughs> now the DM is uh, Jermaine. <laughs> right, go on, Jermaine. What were you saying? I use Flurry Blow Stunning Strike, your monster. And Michael okay. is now Zach. And Zach is now Dante. Oh. And I'm gonna use Dante is now Maris. <laughs> I'm going to use really? all my rounds of the geyser gun shooting the floor. But me and, and like, me, Toby, and Kevin like are to, fine. I would like to cast uh, dis Disintegrate on Sebastian. No, no, you don't get to use the gun. <laughs> oh, wait, did it go back? Did it go back? Please tell me it went back. It went back. Okay. Oh, um, uh, I'm Oh, so uh, Lilipa, you take uh, Kimmy to one of these uh, illustrious, I mean, extravagant rooms. You know, it's got all the decals and, you know, just a very homey vibe. Fireplace, roaring, uh, there's tables, drinks set out, uh, big giant comfy double wide bed. Uh, there's a little balcony out there that overlooks the uh, the entirety of the city. And, uh, yeah. So what do you two do? <clears throat> Kimmy would, uh, not Kimmy. I'm not Kimmy, I'm Lilipa. <laughs> um, <laughs> Are you them? Spoiler. <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. It's um, me. <laughs> <laughs> she would, uh, well, let, like, put Kimmy down on the edge of the bed. So she's sitting there. <laughs> and, uh, would start, uh, feel like, uh, do you, uh, do you have your bag on you? Mm, yeah, it's on my back. 
He like jumps on the bed and reaches in there and starts rummaging, <laughs> pulls out a few bandages and stuff. <laughs> <laughs> gets them out comes back over <sighs> I'm sorry that they uh, you were hit like that we did not see it coming <laughs> yeah who were those guys I suppose the others will find out for us um, once you are patched up and ready to rest I well, might I might go back down there and make sure they have not uh, caused any more trouble <laughs> <laughs> well, she just goes, okay. Um, next time we do a concert, maybe we should get, I don't know, some bodyguards at the door, maybe? Mm. <laughs> Perhaps, or maybe we can weaponize the, the drums. Mm -hmm. I always thought they could make an interesting weapon. Or <laughs> more, or more laser lights, but the lasers are also... The weapons. <laughs> the lasers are real lasers. <laughs> yeah, and they just, they kill bad people. <laughs> <laughs> somebody's, like in the, somebody's in the crowd like, yeah, oh my god! And the laser sweeps over them and then they like, bring their hands down and, just, and there's just nubs and they're like, my, it's like it's like Meta Apocalypse, but with like happy cheery band members. Like yeah, yeah. <laughs> my, Michael, what's up? How hard how hard would it to be to make that amount of lasers? Just hypothetically. <laughs> oh no. Yeah, asking well, for a friend. The technology you have uh, proves to be possible. Mm -hmm. We'll give you time. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah cool. <laughs> Deadliest Wiggles concert you've ever been to. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. Fruit salad. Yummy, yummy. <laughs> I can't wait for the world ending event to literally be a show by Kimmy C. Singer. Like, yeah, let's do this. Time to murder. <laughs> I cut the world in half. <laughs> god, level 20 Kimmy's going to be something else. <laughs> um, but uh, back to it. Sorry. Um,. Lilipo would, uh, like, you know, while she's bandaging up Kimmy, she's like, <clears throat> by the way, thank you very much. That that thing that you do with, uh, she try, like, tries to, like, mimic you, like, do, like, playing the instrument. <laughs> mm -hmm. And, um, it just, it just gives us momentum to keep going. It is very helpful. Anything I can do to help? I do not know how much longer I could stand next to that creature. It was very vile. <laughs> yeah, I hope we can find out what that was and how to. Well, obviously we know how to kill it, but you know, at least know like what causes it. Yes, they were talking about special equipment, so perhaps we should invest. Oh, I do not wish to smell that ever again, if possible. <laughs> Yeah, well, I'm just glad that you're safe, you know. If I wasn't so hurt, I would have ran in there and gave him a whack, whack, whack. <laughs> she, like, a, a little Lilipa chuckle. I don't know what that would sound like, so. <laughs> just <laughs> <laughs> She just goes, <laughs> no, <I'm just> <laughs> <laughs> The most opposite. Red and pink cheeks and everything, you know. She throws her head back, child, and <laughs> <laughs> it's for me. The tongue is waving like this, like like in the Pixar movie. I rage. <laughs> I rage. I rage now. <laughs> 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 yes, of course, Kimmy. But please know that if I fall, I do want you to get away as soon as possible. I am not worth it. She just holds your hand kind of slimy but she's used to it now she just goes you're always worth it don't ever think otherwise it is hard but if you say it enough maybe I will believe it one day <laughs> you're you. always worth it I, I suppose you are starting now <laughs> you're always worth it <laughs> you can tell the runes Kimmy sustaining is starting to sink in. <laughs> You're always worth it. <laughs> hey, uh... I'll, I'll right now go to bed. <laughs> always worth it. 
And you lay Kimmy down uh, and uh, out from the balcony, you can see the starry night. The stars are shining bright over the cityscape of La Cochelle before you. Because you both look out at that wonderful city. And we cut away. So, Anaru, you step through the little area where that uh, would-be assassin is sitting in their chair looking at the ground below. I've, uh, I've brought you your drink. They look up. And I'll Wait. hold out the dark one. Uh, get that thing away from me! No, it's a shot of liquor. Oh, oh, I'm sorry, I misread that. They they look at it like, I, I appreciate it, thank you. I grab it. <laughs> and, <laughs> I was all ready for it, you could tell. And I'll, I'll hold up my, like, my shot glass with the lighter colored liquid, and we'll kind of both take our shot at the same time. Yeah, as they kind of take it out. Oh! Yes, it's quite strong. Oh, now you're going to tell me everything you know about this, and I will hold up that dark vial. Uh, I don't know what else you want me to tell you. I told your friend already what I know. Well, I I think we uh, need to know how long it takes to uh, take hold of the individual who drinks it. Um, any weaknesses that may help us stop these creatures if they've already manifested. And, uh, well, I, I need to know what the side effects are if ingested, and I'll hold up the empty vial. Look, I don't know anything more than my other friends here. But the wizard would know, but he's dead. Well, I... I guess we're just going to wait and see what happens to you because you've just drank this liquid. <laughs> All right. Do a deception check for me. Fighter speciality. Yeah. Does he get plus two for being bad cop? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. They look at you. There's just no. You, you're pulling me. You're pulling me. I saw I saw that creature out there. He wouldn't waste it on me just to make a <coughs> I start coughing. They kinda look at their hand. Okay. Look, if you wanna figure out what that stuff does, go to the pits. This is where we get these casters from anyway. There's a whole cabal of them. Deep below. Can you give me more information of where we might find these casters? There we go. Down deep enough into the pits. You'll find a stronghold of theirs. A wizard's tower. Though it is strange in its appearance. It's all upside down. You understand when you see it. Who hired you? Somebody that wants to... Uh, make the tournament a little bit more lively. But we it. are not in the tournament. You came to a performance of our friend the Bard. Yes, the Bard. The Bard with a very famous father. Was she the target, or was he? Were you trying to draw him out? And he guaranteed that I am going to live. Mm, I can't guarantee that. It depends on your answer. Of course, we want the father to be drawn out. He has a lot of money, a lot of resources. If we can it make him. One of ours. That will help our cause. 
Is that all this is about? Money? Oh no, it's much more than money. There's a... There's a lot of hands in Locker's shell. All trying to grasp at the, the hidden power of the city. That factory out on the shores boasts phenomenal power. Able to churn out vessels at a extreme rate. And if put in the right hands, it can turn the tide. So you think getting Olani Seasinger working for you you can control this factory, use its resources and its power to create more influence in the city, what take take over like a shell. I only know what my masters tell me. I'm a lowly assassin. The caster would have known more. My commander would have known more. I, on the other hand, really of no, no importance. I see. Well, we've had a riveting conversation. Um, enjoy your drink and I'll um, just reach over to a table and grab some other mug or, or shot glass and pull it over and hand it to them. And as I'm doing that, I'm going to um, cast message towards the door at one of the Federation soldiers and say, uh, you missed uh, one of the assassins here. I've got them cornered. And you can hear a commotion. Uh, does anybody else want to do anything before this transpires? I stab the Federation so No. <laughs> oh, shit! <laughs> Open war! Anari drinks the sludge. <laughs> Pull my guns and stop blasting! <laughs> I started blasting. So you see these Federation soldiers appear. And um And I'll just check, please. You could hear some commotion, some fighting behind you. Just flipping over tables. And they hear a muffled voice screaming as they get dragged out. They uh very very noticeably they're dragging them out and they're holding like this rag and then you can see them just kind of fall over asleep. And uh, the rest of the, the commoners that are watching is like, oh my. They Terrible didn't pay their tab. Happening. And they all res resume drinking. All right. Now you return back to the rest of the your group besides Lil Pun Kimmy. Did and you I'll, see the Federal I'll share that information. The... Oh, I'm just going to yeah. my mic. Oh, you did? We heard it. Excuse me. <laughs> Sorry. I was, was going to say, did we see the, the Federation coming in? Yoku out? Yes. Yeah. Basically, one soldier just kind of runs into that area. Uh, uh, along with a few others, they're searching where that message came from. Yeah, and um, they dr start dragging her out. Yeah. So, how'd it go? Mm -hmm. <sighs> well... They weren't very forthcoming with information, but they did say that they were here to, I guess, kidnap Kimmy in hopes of drawing her father out. Hmm. Seems that guy is uh, high in demand. I. From what I gathered, it was money and his abilities that they were um, interested in. They want to use his influence and power to uh, take over the factory here in town and, well, probably take over like a shell and expand their influence out from there. They say anything about the uh, 
weird anchor stuff? Uh, not, uh, unfortunately, not anything that we didn't already know. They did say that the mages in uh, the pits would know more. But uh, yes, the, we, we're looking for some sort of tower underground. They said it was upside down, but it would make sense when we get there. But anyway, the mages in the tower would know more. So if we come across any mages, we'll have to make sure that we keep one alive for questioning. I was curious. Well, maybe we should, uh, I don't want to, but pay one of those outposts a visit to get some uh, of that Federation gear just to be on the safe side if we have to come in that close of contact again. I'm I'm in agreement with you, but I'm worried that if uh, we come donned in Federation gear, if it would make our journey further into the depths more challenging. It, it seems like the organization would do anything that they can to stop the Federation from interfering with their affairs. Right. Michael, did, did the gear that the Federation soldiers that they wore into here earlier, did that seem like the gear that the one woman was talking about? Uh, you don't really know, but there there was like, it's all just kind of steel and like bronze metal workings from uh, do, do an investigation. A 16. So you can tell just from uh, recalling that memory of their armor and stuff that there was nothing that uh, identified like Federation decal or insignias on this like gear they were wearing like the mask and the, the tubings and um the visors and stuff it was really just like the the cloth and uh like pants and shirts they're wearing that signified federation okay because my question is because i, I want to suggest something to anaru but i want to know if sebastian would think it's possible that if we got some of this gear, if he could slightly tweak it so it didn't look as noticeable in comparison to being associated with the Federation. Totally possible. Uh, then I, I, I would tell Inaru that, <clears throat> well, I mean, um, from what I understand, we're going to be landlocked here for a couple of days. So, if the the sooner we can get our hands on that type of equipment, the sooner I can try to manipulate it a little bit so it doesn't look as identifiable. I'll try to meld it into more of our normal attire. I see. Perhaps you can augment the gear that we currently have with uh, the properties of, of the uh, Federation gear. Maybe. It depends on how detailed it is and components and everything. But I will do my best. All right. If there's anything else for to discuss, uh, I'll retire the party for the night. You said these rooms have tubs in them, right? Yeah. Uh, Lilith fills up a tub, crawls into it, goes to sleep, and thinks about 
I really need to get this for my room. Mm -hmm. Bed's overrated. Mm -hmm. Good deal, good deal. Mm -hmm. All right. And Did we get a night... long rest? Oh, we shall see, shall we? <sighs> <laughs> More assassins. I'm just kidding. Oh wait, wait. So if so if if we're sleeping here, can I can I do a thing? Sure. Um are the how are the rooms set up like where we're sleeping? Like is it like a hallway and then we each have like rooms? Yeah, it's like a long hallway with like like room room side by side, you know. Okay. <clears throat> Was there a lot of staff working here? Yeah, yeah. But you could see them kind of work in the, the back. You don't really okay. see them too often in the rooms. So they, they weren't going back into the rooms often. No. Okay. If they're not if I didn't notice them going back into the like the, the quarters often, whatever hallway that goes into like our because I'm assuming we just got like the same hallway. Mm-hmm. At the interception of our rooms, like before it starts going into them, I want to cast alarm. No, I don't want to put. All right, well, I'm going to put it here because it wants me to put down stinky AOE <laughs> on the map. But I want to put that up before we go night night. Okay. All right, and as the night moves on, um, let me see. A restless night for most of you. Uh, you know, you just had that... Uh, grueling fight uh the severe threat of uh being so close to the federation of the impending mission ahead that swells within your mind but sleep does come and you do awake the next morning long rested yoko has their hand raised <laughs> All right. Um, I did think of a thing I wanted to do. And... Okay. Um, so I wanted to. Are we? So here's a question: Are am I in a room alone? Did we all get our own separate rooms, or are we all together? I think or everybody like... got their separate rooms. It's a big enough cool. um, tavern slash inn. Okay. I just want to take like thirty minutes at night right before I go to sleep to pull out the eyeball and look at it more. Okay. Alright, as uh, just before, let me rewind time a little bit. Um, I want you to, as you kind of hold that hag's eye in your hands, I want you to do a wisdom save for me. Okay. I feel like I'm supposed to be sa failing this, so let's go. <laughs> Let's go low. 11. <laughs> so uh, as you kind of focus in on, for a very long time, you're staring at it, just trying to gather uh, its aura. And you could swear it moves. And uh, before um, you can take a moment to react, the eye dilates. And boom, everything starts to dim around you, darkness, you start to focus in on the eye. And then the eye starts to uh, emit this kind of strange, kind of statically blue aura that envelops the entire room around you. And uh, you can see now beyond you uh, several life forces that go down uh, this kind of ethereal uh, hallway that look like to be the room or the tavern and inn you were in. And um, you look at your body too, you can all you can see are these kind of like shaky, vibrating uh, wavelengths of where your feathers and 
uh, hands were. And uh, everything's just kind of statically until, uh, you know, you're just kind of, you don't know how long it's been since, uh, like, time has just been stretched until a voice calls out. And the voice says, I knew it, she would grab it and use it. See? Yes. She has potential. The other one goes, We should tell her. Give her the dark secrets. And the this one this one other voice is different from the rest. And it's dark brooding. Um and it echoes out. Turn over, King Koo. Let me see your face. Turn over. And you see a trio of towering, incredibly old, incredibly ugly, cruel looking women. Uh, one of them is just towers over them too, at least like 13 feet tall, wearing this dark cloak, has these kind of like antler horns, and um, has one giant eye that looks very similar to the one you're holding, uh, staring through that dark cloak. And she uh, has one of her giant arms just kind of steps, uh, kind of puts itself down next to yours, and she kind of crouches down to your level. And her eye just kind of looks at you and focuses in. That power should not be wasted. It will allow you to slip through the threads of the material plane. You can perform feats that are not suitable for material creatures. Does this entice you, or would you prefer something else? And her eye just sort of constricts and dilates. Uh, no, is that that sounds pretty cool. And she looks at you for a moment. <laughs> cool. The other hag start cackling too. <laughs> and the one just kind of snaps back to him. They all hush up. She turns back to you. You have held that for a very long time. I was worried about you. But I will need something in return. For such a power. What is the thing you desire? Who are things you take for granted the most? You will find yeah. out, won't you? And she like strokes yeah. your your face with a giant mutated grotesque hand. And she says, Enjoy it. I will be watching. And uh, you can hear them start to laugh and cackle in your head. <laughs> and it starts to trail off. And uh, as you uh, wake up, you feel like you didn't get any sleep at all. You feel exhausted. You feel drained. And, uh, yeah. As you wake like up, a, do you do anything? Not really. I'll go get some coffee. <laughs> it sounds like I need it. <laughs> Miyoko is has that college student look when she comes downstairs of like, I pulled an all-nighter, but I did it. It's like, you look like shit, but you're like proud that you look like shit. <laughs> uh, roll a D2 for me, Dante. A D2. Oh boy. When. Okay. All right. So, as you all converge downstairs, 
uh, a little bit well rested. Some of you, at least. Uh, you come down, get some breakfast. Uh, they just slap down a whole slew of wonderful food, uh, some steamed carp, some vegetables, some duck, some veal, some eggs. Set down some some mead if you're a drinker, some freshly made juice, ice cold water. Set them all down. Beautiful banquet. Uh, everybody do perception checks for me. And <laughs> oh, oof. Oh my god. I love that oh his net one is higher than my roll. Twenty-three. <laughs> <laughs> <All right. laughs> that makes sense. The fact that I'm a plus seven and I rolled a one is just so frustrating. <laughs> <laughs> There it goes. <laughs> uh, so you're all just kind of sitting around looking at all each other, seeing the wary faces. Some of them look ready for the new day. However, uh, Sebastian, you spot uh, Miyoko coming into view. However, this... It does not look like the same Miyoko that you saw going to bed in last night. No, this Miyoko looks dis dis looks a little bit more exhausted than usual, and uh, it usually they have um, kind of grayish white feathers, but this the feathers look like brittle. Yeah, and there's like a there's like crow's feet, like, and there's creases. And uh, not as uh, the majestic Miyoko that you saw yesterday. Um. <laughs> it's like, no. I want to, like, I'm assuming like we're grabbing food and getting situated and I want to I want to go to sit next to her but when I sit next to her I want to like as I sit down I want to like reach over and like pat her back enough to I'm trying to elicit her to like like exhale and then if she opens her mouth I want to sniff to see if I smell alcohol <laughs> out of her breath. And be like, heck, it better be like, so how'd you, uh, how'd, you, how'd you sleep last night? Why are you touching my back? I'm just making sure you're okay. Like, you know, we went through a, a pretty, pretty rough ordeal there. And uh, there did you sleep no, okay? That was no different. Than, I was. Busy. Thank you oh, very much. You're busy. <sighs> if you are going to sit there, at least pass the coffee. Yeah, okay. Can I can I sniff before I waft Java in front of my nose? <laughs> yeah, you don't smell anything too abnormal. So were you were you um were you trying to like study way of the blade last night? Is that what you were busy doing? Sure. Let's go with that, Sebastian. Oh, okay. I mean I'm sure Anaru or maybe Maris could, you know, you could ask them to spar instead of just 
You going mean, solo. The man who uses a stick and the other one who uses a pitchfork. Well, yeah, I mean, they're both have martial prowess. I mean, more than I do. Like, I know some, but they're more adept at using a, a weapon. You know, I want to make sure that you're, you're training and putting your, your weight's worth into what we're doing here. I mean, I'm still trying to figure out what you're, you're bringing to the table. Listen, Sebastian, I took all night and I had a breakthrough. I have been trying for weeks and I finally did it. So don't rain on my parade and pass the coffee. Oh, I'm not. I'm like pouring her a cup and then handing it to her and going, I'm not, I'm, I'm sorry, I'm not trying to come up as, as caustic. It's just like, it was more research then. Then. Mental, mental image of him literally spitting acid in somebody's face and then going, my eyes! <laughs> True story. <laughs> uh, there is no cream or sugar in this coffee. Oh, wait, I mean, you didn't specify. I mean... I pass it back to him. going to start plinking sugar into the cup begrudgingly and sploosh milk slam it <laughs> you are making a mess well I mean I'm not a, a hostess I mean you could have had somebody else do this obviously not so do you want to Enlighten me on on your your research, or oh, Kimmy, how are you feeling? She gets up, she walks by. <laughs> I'm just gonna glare, <laughs> and then do the other thing I was gonna do. Where's Where's Maris? Sitting at the uh, end of the table, he looks well rested, but also kind of a little sick still. I'm gonna make my way down to Maris, and. Like, like, try to check his pupils. Good morning, Sebastian. Yeah, it is. <laughs> um, well, more so, uh, I was going to help you. You don't look uh, too, too peachy king there, killer. Yeah, I, I think I need to visit that, that healer as soon as possible. No, you you want to further our ties with the Federation? Give them our hard-earned coin. No, not necessarily, but that's the only resource we have right now to remove this. Oh, okay. Well, I mean that's the resource, and he's like digging his bag, and he's pulling out like a syringe, and he pulls it out, and he like flicks the top, and he's like, "That's the only avenue we have. Give me, give me your arm." All right, I trust you enough. And I'm just going to unceremoniously just stick him. Ow. I'm not a surgeon, so forgive oh. my bedside manner. What? But, uh, what? <laughs> and I want to do this. Blink. I'll give it some time. Don't be going out there trying to punch people in the street as soon as we get out there. But that should ail whatever thing that that other thing let out until we can get <clears throat> better suited to walk amongst it. You have my thanks. I very much appreciate it. No, it's not a problem. Hey, um, do me a favor. Um, when when we're we're venturing out, um, keep keep an eye on Princess down there. She seems a little under weather, and she was up all night doing 
some type of thing. And I'd say she's more cranky than usual, but most times she's cranky with me all the time. So understood. Um, when we get when we get back to the ship, I would love if we can um partner with these vials and um see what we can do to maybe destroy them and see what else we can get information wise from them i'm sure we can figure something out no you can't have any of my venom <laughs> <Chuckle. Your story. laughs> um, if you if you don't mind i need to talk to anaru really quick um, oh okay well i'm gonna go fuck off and get some food so Bye-bye. I nod. I go up to Anaru. Anaru. Oh, oh, sorry. I haven't had a good meal in a while. He just wipes his mouth with his sleeve. I promise not to keep you long. Um, I just came back from my vials, please. Ah, uh, yes, and he hands over the empty vial. And the other one, please. Very well. And he uh, takes it out of his uh, like side pouch and hands it over, but like holds on to the vial, like holds it out, but is still like holding on to it tight. Yes. This could be useful. It seems that uh, some of our assailants were quite scared of these creatures. These creatures um, are not of this world. They are not in life's balance. And I'll pluck it out of your hand and roll it for us. This is useful, yes, but we are tempting with forces we don't know, with life. We are not gods. We won't use this on them. I'm I'm just saying if uh if things go bad and we are outnumbered, we could uh cause a bit of a distraction perhaps throw this at uh, one of the attackers and, you know, give, give them something else to fight. We we felled it quite easily. I mean, aside from its uh, aura, it, it wasn't, it really was not hard to uh, pass through its effects unharmed. It was quite easy. Even a child could do it. I think even Lilipa, dressed as a child, was able to do it. Um. When you look up at Maris, you swear for like a split second, like there's just like a, a spark of rage there. Uh, then it calms and it disappears. We are not gods, Anaru. We do not play with others' lives. That is all I have to say on the subject. And then I just walk away. And with that, we're going to end tonight's episode. Thank you so much to everybody for watching. Hope you had a great time. Lots of fun we had. Lots of new discoveries. Uh, lots of avenues for our adventurers to take in our next episode of Season Time. Thanks for having us. And uh, Toby, you want to take it away? What am I taking? <laughs> I don't know. Announcements. Does anybody want to make any announcements about anything? God, I don't have Twitch open. Did anybody follow us in the meantime? Nope, nothing no, new not since last <laughs> Um, so announcement-wise, uh, things have been going swimmingly on the hot new tuberculosis channel. Played, uh, um, risk- I'm- I'm- I'm, like, knee-deep in risk of rain <laughs> right now with, uh, these uh these guys right here, especially that one. He's right below me in the cameras. Don't 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 
you feed me. Bring... Actually, Shush. he's he's not below you. He's technically like. Well, I mean, like in the in in Discord. That, that way, in the red shirt. But in Discord, <laughs> he's right Discord? below me. Yeah, but Discord? all the viewers are like, "Who? <laughs> what?" Okay, where is is he? Like. Yeah. That, yeah. 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 I rem I remember my layouts. He's up there. <laughs> but um <laughs> uh been playing uh Risk of Rain a lot. I love it. It's so much fun. Please come play with me and help me get all the unlocks. But um next uh this coming Tuesday, Cass will be returning from her little vacay and yeah. we're going to be playing uh Frog Detective 2 in the case of the invisible wizard. <laughs> Very excited. <laughs> More dance um, cults. What? Wait, what? More dance. More dance cults. I, I, if it doesn't end with a dance number, I'm gonna be severely disappointed. <laughs> I loved the ending of the first one. Was so cute. I was just like, God, this cleansed me. But um, so that's been hip hopping in over there. Um, God, what else am I doing? <laughs> oh, uh. This Saturday, going to officially be recording our sessions for Cyberpunk Red, which is a hot new campaign we're playing here at the Licky Lair. <laughs> and Licky um, Lair. It's, it's intense, and everybody's mean, <laughs> mm -hmm. <laughs> but it's okay. <laughs> I'm not mean. I don't know what you're talking about. At least, no, I, I meant NPCs. <laughs> Cyberpunk glad. Everybody, everybody's mean, but at least kibble exists. I'll take it. <laughs> <laughs> and that will be coming out in podcast format soon. I'm real excited about that. I get to learn how to become an audio person. <laughs> and that might go onto a Patreon soon. Ooh, gotta pay if you want to listen. But of course, all episodes will be released for free later this year. Um... God, there's just so many things that are being planned for Lich's Lair, but I don't know if like like I can like say anything about them yet because nothing's like set set in stone. Like October yeah, maybe we'll, maybe we'll and... hold off on that till we <laughs> get all the details worked out. I'm excited though. I just know that big things are coming. I can't wait to just be hanging out with these people playing games. <laughs> live in front of a studio audience mm -hmm. <laughs> but yeah lots of fun any other announcements anybody um this sunday 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 for movie night uh we are currently in a tie so i need one of you who haven't voted yet that usually are there for movies to vote on the one of the four movies that we might be watching what movies, you might ask? We're looking at Star Wars, The Phantom Menace, Clue, Murder on the Orient Express, and The Princess Bride. Currently, Murder on the Orient Express and Princess Bride both have a vote. We need some money to break that, please, so we know what we're watching. Otherwise, we can do a feature. If I can hang up and stay up long enough, but, you know, you know I'm all about movies, so. But we need some votes happening. Come join us. Come talk. Come hang out. Come see me break down movies and stupid plot points. Come hang out with us on Sunday. We do not bite. We love you. You know, come in here. Put on your own movie. We'll kick. We'll just, we'll kick Jermaine out. We'll make you the top person. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> no, I'm kidding. I'm kidding. How dare you, Zach? I see what you did. I hey, see what you hey, did. You, you listen to my love. I'm not. I'm not. I'm. I'm. I'm gonna. I'm gonna die in this hill. I'm not gonna vote for Phantom Menace because you didn't list the other three in, in or the other two in that that arc. You have to watch them all. You can't just watch one. You gotta watch the other two. In your new empire. And then, and then you listen to him off, and I was like, I was like, man, I haven't watched Clue in a while. Like, I love me some Tim Curry. I was like, and you're like, go vote. So I went and voted. Now we I was trying right to, now. this whole time, I've been trying to vote for a Clue, and I could not find the magnifying glass emoji. So thank you so much, Zach. Just type vote. Mag. It's I, I, I was type, I type, I type. What if they got the other Magnum? <laughs> there was another Mag. I was, there, there's two. There's one this way, one that way. I was like, 
Which one was it? I tried it? Mag, I tried Glock, I tried Rifle. <laughs> <laughs> That's what I think of Clue. Get the Glock! <laughs> and uh, where can I... they do their voting, uh, Jermaine? We have a whole text channel called Popcorn Junkies. Cause we love movies. And what do you like about the movies? The popcorn, of course. You know, come on. Just come on. if it comes Cle with cheese. What? <laughs> I'm gonna ignore that comment. <laughs> Cheese, really? I can't ignore it. It's, yeah, just come hang out. These are the conversations that we have. These people are very fun to watch movies with. Just come hang out with us. We and don't the, even have to talk. The link to our Discord where you're actually doing all this is in the chat. Kind of need that one. Also, <laughs> you are so weak minded. What? Okay. Whoa, Listen. where are we going? <laughs> What is happening? Okay, PvP Whoa. is not enabled, by the way. Cheese, popcorn, we want soft kernels? What's wrong with you? No, you, you, <laughs> get, you get the freaking popcorn, put whatever the hell you want it, popcorn, salt, butter, whatever. Then you go to the nacho cheese machine and you steal the cheese from the nacho cheese machine and you dip your popcorn into it and <laughs> it's an experience. Uh, yeah, so it's putting socks on right out of, like, get... Yeah, I have another Fox question. Out of the dryer? That's I'll, also good. No, no, I'll talk about this in the Discord. I have something. I have a question for people. <laughs> but you gotta be in the Discord. It's gonna be a good question. <laughs> I, it's it's a very controversial question, but I'm saving that for the Discord. Thanks so much for watching, everybody. Hope you have a wonderful night. I will see y'all next Friday. Thank Bye. you. Bye bye.